Moscheno. Today we're going back to the really, really basic, basic because we have so many requests from you knitters. They want to know how I'm holding the yarn and how I knit and what is the legs from the stitches and so on. So we are doing just a very basic, as I said, a little tiny movie and I hope you can follow nicely. You pick up the yarn and the ball and the needles and then you start your own swatch and practice, practice, practice. So this is all what you need to do. And here we go. So many knitters ask me how to explain how my knitting takes place. Um, I would be I'm very honored that so many want to follow me and uh, they want to change the yarn from the right hand to the left hand. So I have here um, uh, done a little swatch, this odd garter stitch, and uh, our a little lesson today is just very, very, very basic. How a stitch sits on a needle. And as my grandmother said, do not cross the legs because a stitch is a stitch and you poke in a stitch from the side you have to and not crossing the legs. So I will uh, do this with you together and I hope uh, I have here a very very thick yarn. It's our Donna yarn in the color Autumn and uh, I will take this in my hand now and show you how to poke into a stitch and how to twist a stitch if you wind the yarn differently uh, through your needle. So this is my, as you know already, wrap around edge stitch and I grab the yarn like this and poke it through. If I go from here, I'm not twisting the legs. If I go from here, I would twist and cross the legs. So I go in here and pull the yarn through. That's all in here. So the legs are going straight up, pull the yarn through. And that's actually all you need to do. But I will show you two different ways. If I go in the stitch here, grab the stitch and pull it through, it will be a different result if I go in here and wrap the yarn. I can barely do it. Do it this way. Let me do a few like this not this way, cross the yarn around it because some might knit like this. Do the yarn around like this and now I'm doing it again my way which one is more handy for me. Oops. And one more and the last stitch as you know I am not knitting. So now let's do the second row and you will see the stitches are different on my needle. I knit the first stitch and I knit this stitch as before. Poke from here, move it to the side and the yarn goes through. Move the stitch, yarn through. It's all the same. So now you will see if I do this again because the stitch is different on my needle now. You see? And here again because I was knitting like this, which one is hard for me, I'm doing this. So the stitches are differently on the needle. I want to show it again to you and I hope you can see it. This one goes to this side and this stitch goes to the other side. And that's the whole secret. So you have to decide which way you want to pull the thread, the thread through the stitch like I'm doing it now, or you do it this way. Okay, so I will show you again. And that is the whole secret. So you do it your way, how it is comfortable for you, but do not cross the legs when you knit. So this stitch is straight through. Here I have to go from this side, and from this side again. This is going again from the other side. You see, the stitch need to open up and that's where the yarn is going through. So here we go. Let me finish this row and then we want to purl. And with the purl, it is exactly the same situation. It depends on how you are pulling the thread 
the yarn through the stitch. So the first is being knit. So the yarn is in the front. If I pull the yarn through like this, let's do one, two, three, four, and I'm now doing it a different way, like this. One, two, three, four. And now I'm doing it my way again. First one is slipped. So, and now you will see that the stitches, I will knit this row. First one is knit. So you see, I'm going straight into this stitch. That's how I'm knitting. And here, they are now these four stitches. Remember, I wrapped the yarn differently through uh, the stitch. I have to go from here, not to cross my legs for just plain knitting. So I did four. And now I have the way I'm doing it. I just go straight in here, wrap the yarn around, straight through, wrap the yarn around. So this is just what you have to practice. The result is really the same. The legs, the two stitches here, don't cross them because they would be like this. So you need to decide how to wrap your yarn around the needle. It doesn't matter if you knit or if you purl. Do not cross the legs. And a knitting a description or a pattern might not tell you how to just straight knit a stitch or straight purl a stitch. So let's do a purl row again. So, and I will show you the two different ways to wrap your needle. And then do yourself a favor, uh, grab some yarn and some needles and practice. So here is the, so I'm going straight, yarn is in the front, I'm going straight in the needle and just pull it through. Straight in air, just pull it through. Straight in air, just pull it through. If you're not comfortable, go straight in air and then you need to wrap the yarn like this through. And you will see the two stitches are completely different on the needle. This goes to the left and this goes to the right. So it's up to you how to. So this is my way. This is the fastest way. Go straight in air. The yarn is right there. Grab it and pull it through. Straight in the stitch. So that's very simple. So I will turn the work around again. My needle's bumping a little bit on the wooden table. So the first one is just knit to have a good edge. So straight in air. Grab the yarn and through. Straight in there, grab the yarn in there. Straight in there. If you prefer to do it this way, then do it this way. But remember, you have to knit the stitches the next row a different way because they are going to the left. In my way, they are going to the right. So this is actually all for today in our blog. I just wanted to show you uh, how I just knit or just purl and the two different ways to wrap the yarn around the needle to pull the yarn through the next falling stitch and the result is completely different. So this is what you need to learn. Take the yarn, take some needle, put some stitches on your needle and then practice and just do knit and purl and then do some garter stitch rows and you will see it's you who is knitting. Do not follow really the knitting pattern. You need to know what a knit stitch is and you need to know what a purl stitch is. And I think you will be a happy knitter. And this is what we always say, happy knitting.